Okay, so there's the hotel. There is that bloody annoying church. The best mart, I'm actually been in that one, but there's a 7 Eleven just very, very close by. And there's some uh, sort of bars across there where they have girls and you know, whatever. And I would have had a drink, I would have had a drink, but you know, uh, yesterday, but they charge more money for the drinks. They charge them about 80 pesos, where some of the others of the daytime you can get them for. Um, whatever. Hello, Lizzie. Huh? Hello, you're enjoying that? <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you this. Well, it's not really safe this area at the night time. Now, there's the hotel I'm staying in. I think you can see that there, the Manana Hotel, yes. They were about 100 meters away from it, not very far at all. And just across there, that little joke, there's something called the Man Cave. Now, I, I had a pizza. I came out the first night I was here, I had a pizza. And a couple of beers in, in, in uh, that, that place there, it's a girly bar, didn't want anything else. That's all I wanted was a pizza. I walked past here, there was tuk tuk drivers. The tuk tuk drivers there, not tuk tuk, I'll have to stop saying that. Tricycle uh, riders all lined up. My hotel's only 100 metres away. But at the tricycle terminal over there, there was a very, very nasty, or oh, a very, very unpleasant character, some sort of a pimp or whatever. He was trying to extort money, he was obviously desperate for money, hadn't earned any. And had a very, very, very serious altercation with the bastard. Um, you, you know, this is about 1.30 in the morning, which is not that late. But this area, what I'm saying, this area here, may look okay now, but it's very, very unsafe for night time. Further down the road there, you have a police presence, and that seems to be a lot better. I'll come back to the safety issue later on, but... They look okay with daytime, but there is definitely clearly a, a safety issue. It's quite dangerous here later at night. You do have to watch your step. See, they have a few bars here. There's the Landlocked Bar. There's the Rolling Stones Bar. I like the sound of that one. But the fact is... The fact is, I'd like to check those places out, but I don't think this little area here after what I experienced the other night is particularly safe. So I'm going to stick to the area further down, the Velvet Touch area, because there does seem to be a strong police presence there. And, you know, those police, they may have mighty big guns, rifles, whatever, but I feel a hell of a lot safer when they're around, believe me. You know, you know, this, you know this little area, I don't think there's much of a security presence here of a night term. There's a clear Australian presence here. I suppose <laughs> Australia, I've never been to Australia. I suppose it's not very far away from the Philippines, really. There you go. Let's take a picture of you. There you go. Isn't he cool? Isn't he a cool dude there? Eh? He's a cool dude. The cool tricycle uh, rider. See, he's a, he's a friendly guy as well. Okay, thumbs up. I'm going to go for the bear, okay? It's that time of day, I'm going to have a nice curry. Right, right on. All right, Gil. And these, these people seem to be okay. The, the locals seem to be okay with the... That a nice shot of uh, GP there. Oh, very nice vehicle. Hello. The locals seem to be quite friendly towards the camera. The expats, of course, have been something entirely different. Uh, there's expats sitting outside the, the bars here. I've got to be careful not to film them. There's people that touchy. Sort of, uh, you know, ab ab about about the camera. You see you're talking to yourself, you assume you're on YouTube or something like that. Well, the fact is that I don't really want to film the expat. I don't want to film the... You know, <laughs> not that pretty anyway. Now, I think it's time for my daily bit of 
bit of fruit juice, bit of vitamin C. No, that's not orange, that's actually mango, that isn't it? Yeah, I had one of those the other day, I was loving a uh, nice mango, a nice medium set. Nice fresh mango, I had one the other day and uh, I felt all the better for it. Uh, 15, that'll do me. 15 pesos, okay. There we go, beautiful, there you go, nice nifty 15. Lovely, lovely, said by a lovely lady as well. <laughs> Oil, food. Hey. What the hell? What is it? Yeah. Chili garlic oil. Yeah. That's not exactly what I got in mind, mate. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's beer for me this time of day, but this is this mango juice is very nice. Okay, okay. That is lovely, so refreshing. Absolutely beautiful. As you may well know, this time of day I always have my first icy cold beer, but this is, that's lovely, I think this is a better habit to have. Okay, now this area here, is about as far as I've got walking away from the hotel. The Wild Orchid Beach Resort, living a dream because you can. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, the sun's going on down here, some nice bars and you can even get some good food down there so that's what I've got in mind right now hello mate how are you wow. a lively little place hello mate how are you nice little barber shop there I had my haircut the other day so Done and dusted. Hello. What's that? Hello. Okay, cool. How are you? Nice, I'm fine, Dad. You take care and Careful. safe driving and nice to meet you. I don't think he seems to like the camera anyway. Wow, look at those hills over there. I'm sure there's some lovely landscape around here. Maybe before I leave here, I better go and investigate it because I'm, you know, find a way to get out there, maybe explore a few of those hills. But this is the most pleasant part of town. And of course it heads down towards the beach. Treasure Island Resort. Yeah, very, very nice place. Okay, now you've got Blue Rock Resort on the beach. I've seen this, I'm going to show this in a moment. Oh, certainly looks, looks like some very, very appetizing food there. There you go, Blue Rock's Floating Bar open 1 p.m. till late that's not the place I got in mind today but there's plenty of other good places down here to, uh, to investigate I had a very very nice meal here yesterday and I'll probably end up in the same place Subiza. Now there certainly does seem to be a lot going on down here, this part of town. There's a lot too Subic Bay. You know, when you start walking around you realise that there's quite a lot to it. There you go, a nice bit of acoustic live mu music if that's your sort of thing. I think I'd find that quite entertaining. Our resort. A resort? Yes. Su Subiza Beach Resort? Yes, sir. I have actually got a hotel already. Okay, sir, you take a It's okay. It's my yeah. okay level. Well, she's inviting me anyway. She's inviting me anyway. Hello, matey. How are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. are place? Yes. Yes. Oh, you got a lovely big swimming pool over there. Yes. I have to confess, no matter how good the swimming pool is, I never get around to using it, but it's worth knowing anyway. It's our, it's our dining and we have a, we have a room. Our room here is big. It's, it's not big. just only a small room like that. Yeah. They have, the other, they say they're cheap, but our room is big. Yes. We 
can see it there and you have a big TV like that. Well, it looks fine. I'm actually staying at the Manana, the Manana. Manana, oh yeah. You know, it's very, very conveniently located. Mm -hmm. And it's, well, it's, it's on top of everything and it's, it's very, very close to everything that I need. Mm -hmm. But I must admit, this is really, really lovely. Well, you've got a beautiful sea view here anyway. Yes, we have. I mean, from up there, the sea doesn't look very appealing, but from this angle, it looks absolutely, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, I'll pass by some time. I might have a meal here anyway. Yes, so, please. okay, I will do. Not many people here today. Yes. Well, well, well obviously it's, it's not that time of day anyway. You know, yes. when you want to eat. But anyway, thanks for showing me this. Room. The room. Yeah, in their room. That's why. Oh, this one here. Yes. Wow. You want to check inside? Just have a little. Can I look through the window? Yes. I. Uh, There's only window. Oh, just. Oh, lovely, lovely, very, very well kept, beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit grubby right now, so I wouldn't trust my footwear okay. to be walking around. You know, you wouldn't want me and you wouldn't want my filthy trainees uh, okay. going across yeah, your plush carpet. A music lounge yeah, as well, yes. Yeah. You want to take a look? Yeah. A quick look, a quick so look, yeah, absolutely. Let's see our place. Where's Sunny? I want to show you to him about our music. Hello, buddy, how are you? It's all, the light? Well, it's a bit dark in there anyway. Yeah. But it's nice to have a, a music lounge on the premises. It means yes. that you don't have to go very far yeah. for a bit of entertainment. Oh, Jesus. We have a big room here. Well, it certainly looks very, very plush. And you have a band here? You have a bit of yes, live music? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's fine. So, so well, I'm, I'm here for a few more days anyway, so you may well see, see me popping by. Yeah. I'm, st I'm staying, I used to go to the, what's it called? Not the, oh, geez, the Velvet Touch. Velvet Touch? I've been there the last couple of nights. You know, mm -hmm. I like a bit of live music, personally. Mm -hmm. But, you, you know, this place is definitely well worth investigating. Here you have the Blue Rock Resort on the beach. You get access to the beach from that, that place. I actually went in there the other day and I sat down and looked at the menu. I was going to have a meal there, but actually quite expensive, that one. But um, this is about as far down as I've, I've walked in this particular location. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a walk back. And I think it's time for an afternoon, couple of beers and a nice meal. Probably in the same place as it did yesterday. Doesn't that Thank look beautiful? What kind of ale is that, by the way? Huh? What kind of ale is it? I had a pint of it yesterday and it was bloody good. I don't, I don't know. No. No, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't need a name. If it tastes good, then that's better than any name, okay? Okay, there we go. Unusual to find a pint of ale around these parks, but... I had a pint of this yesterday and it was really, really good. I think it's called Hogba Ale Beer. And that's what it says there. There's there somewhere, Hogba Ale Beer. Okay, now it's not a classic taste, it's not in the League of Guinness or one of those great English uh, ales that I love so much, speckled hen, or that sort of stuff. But the fact is, when you're in these hot countries, these hot climates, to drink lager all the time does sometimes get a little bit bland. Lager is very, very refreshing, obviously, but sometimes I like a little bit of variety. And that is nice and, is nice and uh, pleasant, it really, really is. And by the way, they also do a sweet called tea red cider a pint of that is 75 pesos it is a bit sweet and a bit lemonadey but it's tasty anyway and very very refreshing i had a pint of that yesterday very nice
Can I order dinner? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I've already made me mind of what I want because I had it yesterday and it was so bloody good that I'm going to have it again. Oh, this yeah. is the weekend curry, okay? Special Indian curry. Not necessarily the perfect thing to eat on a hot afternoon, but I loved it yesterday, so. How about a nice madras? Yes? Yeah. Can you do a nice madras? My yeah, okay. and that's served with rice or naan bread. Yes, yes. Okay, yesterday I, <coughs> I had fries with it. Yeah, do I get fries with it instead of instead of rice? Because I'm not a big fan of rice personally. So one madras, then naan bread and fries. Yeah, well, that sounds good to me. I had it yesterday and it was bloody good. Okay, there you go. She's the girl with the grub. Yeah. She's the girl with the grub, and I'll tell you what, it looks every bit as good as it looked yesterday. And I'm sure it's gonna taste just as good. Yeah? Enjoy. Okay, I will do anyway. I've got a lovely sea view. Wow. Beautiful sea view, nice boats, a nice beer. Nice, nice nice curry in front of me. What is there not to like? Oh my god, that just looks so damn good. Seriously good curry. Not the ideal thing to eat on a hot afternoon, but it tastes so damn good. Love it. Mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Total amount 295 pesos. That is excellent value. Can't complain about that at all. And look at that view. I'd like a nice pint of pint of lager, please. Yeah, whatever that happened. Oh well, that was such a bloody good meal. My God. Well, you can tell it was a good meal. I, I didn't film the bit where I was uh, licking the plate. Anyway, that was absolutely fantastic. That was Madras curry, fries. You can have rice instead, but I prefer fries. Um, naan, naan bread, total cost 295 pesos, that is about, whoa, what, what, is, what is that about? It's about four and a half UK pounds. Brilliant meal, brilliant value. I had it yesterday, it was just as good today. My God, that's fantastic. And let's get another shot of that view out there. There you go, there's the view. There we go. Yes, Harley's restaurant, bar, restaurant, sports bar, whatever, comes highly recommended. Okay, so the total bill for that was 610 pesos. Okay, there, there you go. So, Thank you. Okay, there we go. So, total bill, 610 pesos. That was for that beautiful, beautiful curry, fries, naan bread, lovely stuff. Pint of ale pint of lager and a bottle of San Miguel. Total cost of that, 610 pesos, yes? Which is about nine quid, about nine pounds in English money. And I would say that that, and let's not forget this view as well, you get that as well, okay? I would say that is bloody good value, really impressed with that, now I enjoyed that. Like I say, this, this is a good gaff this is, not complaining about this at all. 
So there you have it, Harley's. Okay, not exactly what you'd call a curry house, but that, that was a really good meal I was, really enjoyed that magnificent Madras curry, second time I've had it. Um, marks out of 10? I don't give marks out of 10. At the end of the day, you either like a meal or you don't like it, and I really, really like that one. You, your day can stand and fall by whether you have a, a, one really good meal, meal a day. If you have a disappointing meal, it can knack it up your whole day. If you have a really good meal, and that was a really good meal, it sets it up nicely, puts you in a good mood, and makes you feel like you've had a really good day, okay? Harley's, if you want a curry, I might just try something else next time. But I don't know, I really enjoyed that, okay? Time for the walk, walk back to the hotel for my afternoon kip.